Today I'll quickly show you how to repeat a pattern along a path in Inkscape 1.0. Make sure this lock is closed for proportional sizing, and then we're going to get into the Circle or Ellipse tool, and this will be the path that we create. So left click and hold to create a circle or an ellipse, and the pattern will repeat along the stroke or the outside of this. We need to first convert it to a path by going to Path and then Object to Path when it's selected, and that'll convert it into a path. Then we'll get back into selection mode, and we'll select the pattern that we want. We can draw this pattern. It also, uh, I think it has to be a path, yeah. We'll right click and go to copy. It's very important because that places this pattern path into our clipboard. Then go to path and down to path effects. That opens the path effects panel on the right hand side. Click the plus sign to add a path effect. And the path effect that we're wanting to look for is this one called pattern along path. And there's a couple different settings we need to change. Under Pattern Copies, we'll change it to Repeated and Stretched. You can play around with different options for this. And then for the Pattern Source, click this icon, which is Link to Path in Clipboard. Remember, we copied that pattern to our clipboard. And then it creates this pattern. And the nice thing about it is, since it's linked to this, any changes we make in size or in the path will reflect, the, it'll, those changes will be reflected in uh, our final uh, pattern uh, along the path, which is really, really cool. Uh, we can get in, so this icon here, Edit Paths by Nodes, will let us get in and be able to edit each of these nodes and change the shape of the pattern. And it's important to know that uh, if we delete this pattern, uh, it's also going to be, it, it, we won't be able to have it linked, of course. So we need to keep this original source pattern in order to have it linked to the path. Also, you can create any type of path. It doesn't have to be a circle or even an enclosed path. You can create a path along a, a curved line, for example, or any simple or even complex path. So hopefully you found this video informative. Go ahead and leave your questions or comments below if you have any, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.